this is either day one or like day three of doing van life vlogs it depends on whether i scrap all the videos that i recorded before or if i actually edit them and post them we're just waking up we might go up the mountains today i got some chores that i need to get done before we leave the city i need to get some groceries i forget why but i need to go to home depot or best buy i cannot remember why but there's some project i need to do I think it's related to the racing sim. I was going to try to dial in one more thing. But yeah, so today we're going to run some errands, I think. I've been putting this off now for two days, and I keep just being a hermit and staying in this parking lot. But it's really easy to do that once you get landed and you're comfortable somewhere. And after traveling for a couple of days and not being in the van for so long. So I just watched this lady drive by with a flat tire, and I would go help her. But it kind of seems like she might be on something. She was just out there screaming like crazy. And it looks like she might have just did a hit and run by the looks of her whole front end of the car being all smashed up where the front pop tire is. The Iowa boy in me says go help her out with the flat tire. The traveler in me says stay out of that mess before you end up wrapped in a whole mess. And our out the window entertainment didn't end there. Long border homie stopped to check his sobriety, I guess. And I was laughing about him doing this. And then ironically, later that day, I was doing the same thing to measure how long one parking space was because I was looking at school buses. I was just trying to figure out what the longest school bus you could get that would still fit in two parking spaces was. The night prior to this, I found a school bus for sale on the Facebook Marketplace that really has me contemplating getting a bus again. I actually listed my van on the Marketplace to see what kind of interest it would get. That's a story for another video. Cassie and I got out of the van for her first little walk and she was very excited to do it. Just walked to the nearest gas station, good little trek down the hill. Kind of jogged my way here. I'm too impatient to walk. Cassie patiently waited in the gas station like she always does, and on the walk back up to the van, I couldn't help but just get a couple of videos of some of the trash, and this is seriously the smallest portion of all the trash that's scattered around this area, and that's a large reason I don't like to be in the city too, it's just, I shouldn't have to be dodging trash with where I step, it just grosses me out, it makes me want to be nowhere near humanity. And we saw our second person with a pop tire of the day, I felt bad for this dude with an RV pulled over, probably got the family all loaded up going on a fun trip, and right before they're heading up the mountains you got a flat we went back to the van and relaxed a little bit before i pulled out a toy that my mom sent for cassie brand new on one of her favorite toys so she tore that out of the box and had fun doing it i cleaned up the van got drive ready and then we headed into town to hit the store and to go to planet fitness i took a shower and we went to sprouts or some overpriced grocery store like that and got some healthy noodles and then on the way out of walmart where i stopped to get some meat I saw this beautiful Corvette that had a nasty cam in it. It looked like possibly some welds for back wheels, and it was just a super sick car. And it wasn't the only sweet car that we saw out. It was a really sunny Saturday, and that's one thing I do enjoy about being in the city is the car spotting. You see tons of sweet cars. So we also saw a Lotus out ripping, and we saw a C8 Corvette getting on it as he was getting onto the interstate to head up the mountain. So after we ran all our errands for the day and then went for a little evening walk to let Cassie go to the bathroom, we made our way back to the van where Cassie enjoyed the last bits of sunshine for the day before a storm rolled in. And I started working on some supper. Just gonna be reheating the tacos that we made last night, but making them a little bit better than I made them last night since I was getting so lazy and hungry towards the end. As the chicken was reheating in the Instapot, it started raining, which slowly turned into sleet, which slowly turned into snow. There's nothing like the sound of rain or sleet hitting the van as I'm laying in bed getting ready to go to sleep. It really is just one of the most relaxing things I've ever experienced. So after eating the leftover tacos, we just kind of hung out and enjoyed the sound of the rain and snow coming down. I updated a couple of games while we were hanging out. Since I didn't want to have a YouTube video going, I'd rather just listen to the rain while we got it. I was really hoping to catch a snowstorm coming out to Colorado. I knew that I was towards the tail end of winter, but I had high hopes to catch something. So I was stoked to wake up to a little bit of a dusting. So we went outside and got some good videos of it. Cassie was pretty antsy because she loves to get out and play in the snow. So I got out of the van to get some footage of the snow-covered van and just the snow-covered hills around us. And then I took Cassie on a little bit of a walk. And then we came back into the van. We just hunkered in, waited for the snow to melt off. The sun came out right away in the morning, so it started melting pretty quick. I worked on editing the first YouTube video, and then finally the snow melted, so we walked down to the gas station, saw a beautiful Porsche 911 Turbo along the way, 
And then on the way back, once we got to the van, we saw somebody getting air rescued by a helicopter. And there's some hiking trails just across the interstate, so I wonder if something happened to somebody getting hurt on the hiking trails. And that kind of looks like where they dropped the basket down to, but not too sure, but that was pretty interesting to see. Got a whole bunch of dishes down while we were waiting for the snow to melt, so I had to put those away, and then we had some more entertainment out the window. This guy was the worst. Who carries a baby like that, first of all? Second of all, he pulls up in his camper, not a camper van, he pulls up in his actual camper with his truck, he unloads his camper in the parking lot, he unloads his Harley out of the back of his truck, and just to preface things, I am an absolute motorcycle nut. Anything with an engine or wheels, I am to die for it. That is my passion. That's why my shoulder's ruined, is because motorcycles, I had shopped for a Harley Sportster for a little while. I wanted to get a 1200 Sportster or a Dyna to learn how to stunt on it, to do wheelies and stuff. Thank God I never did that. But dude unloads his Harley in the parking lot like it's a campground or something, sets up his campsite, pulls out the generator, has the generator blast, and fires up the Harley and just starts rev bombing the piss out of it. And the thing was loud. And he did this probably about four times a day. He would come out, start his Harley, hit red line, just rev the piss out of it, shut the Harley off, and then go back in his camper. And I was getting so fucking pissed. But the dude looked like an absolute crackhead, so I didn't do anything about it. I really wanted to egg his camper before we left, but I'm not trying to start any trouble. With intentions of heading up the mountains to get to a campsite today, we walked down to the gas station to hit the restroom. We examined a little bit more of the trash that is just scattered all throughout the area so then we can appreciate the cleanliness of the mountains once we get up there. And then on the way back from the bathrooms, we saw this Chevy Avalanche, an SS Avalanche with a turbo on it. So that was neat and all, but we still had a handful of things to do before heading up the hill. I wanted to take Cassie to a dog park because I know that there aren't any up in the mountains, at least in the section of the mountains that I'm going to, which now that I'm up here, I think I might have found a dog park. It's like an hour away, but Cassie deserves the drive to go play. So we're going to take Cassie to the dog park, and then also while we're at the dog park, we're going to be really near Safeway, and there's a couple more groceries I kind of forgot to get, so I'm going to swoop a couple things from the store, and I think then we're going to be heading up the mountains. Go, Cassie! Go, Cassie! <laughs> go, Cassie! Go, go, go! There's nothing better than walking out of a grocery store, seeing a storm rolling in over the mountains, and hearing your hound dog howling for you at home. Cat, what the heck? What? Is what happened in here? What happened in here? So a few days ago I had a really good live stream and I thought I'd reward myself with getting a big old bag of trail mix and I felt like I was really balling out buying a $15 bag of trail mix and I ate most of it, but I left a lot of raisins at the bottom because raisins are not the best part of trail mix. And um, while I was in the store, Cassie helped herself to that bag of trail mix. And it turns out that uh, 15 bucks for a bag of trail mix is a lot cheaper than what the bag of trail mix is about to cost me. So me and Cassie make our way to the nearest vet after calling around to a few vets asking about how worried I should be about how many raisins she ate and the majority of the vets said that I should be very concerned. So we take her to the vet and of course that vet clinic is closing because it's like 6 o'clock so she gets there for about an hour or so and they look her over and they get her to throw up and they put an IV in her and they really really heavily push on her going to an overnight clinic. So we pay our dues at the vet that we've already been at and hop in the van for about half hour to 45 minute drive into the city to the nearest urgent care 24 hour vet, vet clinic place. 
So with worrying about my fur child being at the doctor overnight, I decided that I'd do a little bit of the Twitch stream, play a little bit of the sim racing rig, and then play some other video games just to unwind and kind of chill in the parking lot. It sucks, because I want to say it's safe to say that I'll be back on a bike soon enough, just, you know, sitting at the skate park, being the old guy that pops around. Dude, that was gunshots. Really close. Yep, dude, there's gunshots. I think the car's about to fly by. I hear cars racing around. That's like close, close. So with that being the icing on the cake, I decide to just call it a day and try my best to get some sleep. The Van Dog surprises just keep coming. Once again, it is an owner mistake. It's on me, Cassie. I take the blame here. Cassie ate some raisins and she has been at urgent care all night. I'm a couple grams deep into it so far and they're pushing on another night's stay and I'm trying to decide whether that's worth the extra costs or if I should take her home and just keep a close eye on her in the van. But on a more positive side of things, I got to park right outside of the urgent care all night. So that made for a good parking spot. I just got the van all tidied up. And I think I'm going to go live and try to make some money since I uh, have spent all my money on the dog with the van travels. I was just starting to gear up and get ready for a trip up to Wyoming. But I think Cassie just ate all of our travel funds. So... We're going to do some sim racing on live and hopefully make a buck. So I anxiously streamed the day away waiting for my time to be able to go in and see Cassie. And I took a couple breaks to like do some dishes. And while I'm doing the dishes, the neighbor came walking by. And I thought that he was pretty chill until he started talking smack. You talking shit? Hey, you talking shit? You want to go? You want some beef? So after the neighbor and I squashed our beef, it was finally time to go in and see the puppy dog. And while she seemed like she was been pretty high spirits, we weren't totally out of the jungle yet. Once talking to the vet, it seemed like she was probably gonna have to stay there for at least another do? 24 or more hours. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> Look at you, you just hate the count. <laughs> so I enjoy my time of laughing at Cassie wearing the cone of shame, bashing into everything, having zero spatial awareness. And then I head back out to the van to just sit around and wait. And with that, the video is coming to an end. If you guys watched this far in the video, comment whether you like raisins, yes or no. I used to absolutely love raisins. They were my go-to when I was in a really heavy health kick for whenever I wanted something sweet. That was the first move. But ever since this ordeal, I don't think we're going to be having too many raisins in the van from here on out. Of course, the YouTuber shit. If you guys liked the video, click the subscribe button to be able to see more videos and see the update on what happens with Cassie the dog in the end run and to see if we ever make it up in the mountains. And be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed this video at all. They all help out majorly. Once again, thank you guys so much for all the support on the past two videos. I genuinely cannot believe how well they're doing. It's honestly nuts from the comments to the likes to just the average view time. I am blown away that you guys are enjoying these. Every time I finish editing a video, I think, man, that is a mad, boring video. There's no way someone's going to watch it till the end. And then there's 10 plus people who comment whatever the code is at the end of the video. And I know that people are actually watching the whole videos and enjoying them. So thank you guys for that. I remember when I was like in fifth grade, Gary You're Paulson so wrote some book that was like kind of a cliffhanger. And the teacher explained to me what a cliffhanger was. And I was so pissed. I was like, why would they do that? Why wouldn't they just tell us what we want to know right away? Here I am leaving you guys on a cliffhanger so tune into the next one to see how cassie ends up and uh thank you for watching